On one hand, there are traditional teenager jobs like landscaping, mowing the lawns, babysitting, etc. While these are some great options to make money, these are also temporary and do not help you further your career in any way. And with this lockdown and coronavirus here, we often prefer not to go out as much. Now, on the other hand, there are various ways to make money online. Making money online isn't just for college students or adults like us. If someone tells you that, I would say laugh it off and feel sorry for their ignorance. Because in reality, there are plenty of opportunities and different ways to make money online as a teenager if you know where to look at. And I will help you with that. Forget sites, forget service sites, or low paying jobs, or even traditional jobs. I'm going to tell you ways that can help you make hundreds to thousands of dollars. And if it becomes profitable, that is, if you put in the required work, you can make it your full time career as well. Now, if you're tired of looking for how to make money as a teen online or how teenagers can make good money online, this video is going to answer all of your questions and your search ends here. Whether you are looking to make some extra cash or save up for college, buying a new car, improving your prospects to get an internship or a job after college, or anything else for that matter. Even if your eyes are on an expensive pair of sneakers or makeup, this online job can help you achieve whatever your target is. Hi guys, I am Chavi and I make videos each week on making money and living a location independent life. So if you want that for yourself, which I know you secretly do, hit the red icon below and subscribe to our channel. Now let's get started. The first option that I want to talk about is selling your services on Fiverr. Now this is definitely one of my favorite ways of making money as a team. Fiverr is a massive marketplace where business where businesses can find freelancers who can help them finish a job. It could be anything. Fiverr is crazy broad when it comes to services people offer. If you can sell a service, it is on Fiverr. Now, people are offering services like cast a love spell, weight loss spell, and a career spell. It also has a lot of people offering tarot readings or wanting to predict your future. It is crazy out there. I am not saying go ahead and do exactly this. It was just for fun in this video. According to Fiverr though, the most in-demand service form is logo designing, WordPress, voiceover, whiteboard, social media, content writing, translation, SEO, and illustration. I recommend that you both check it out, look through the services and see what you can offer or the services you're ready to learn a bit and then offer. Do look up voice acting though. There are many gigs that are posted for buying teenage or boy or girl's voice. You can definitely ace that gig, right? If you have no idea what voice acting is, I'm going to link to a free course in the description box below, so go check that out. In short, it is about selling your voice for some advertisement or video, etc. It's voice over. An experienced voiceover artist can make as much as $500 per hour or more. You should also know that if you're invested in freelancing, you can earn thousands of dollars very easily. However, Fiverr will take 20% of your earnings as a commission. If you are offering services and making money off that, you will also need to get new skills or hold existing ones. Now you can hop on to Skillshare and sign up for the free version which gets you access to a lot of free courses and trainings that can help you out in this scenario. Now this is what you have to do. Join Fiverr as a seller, create your gig, your gig is a service that you are going to be selling on Fiverr. Add a video to introduce yourself, it is the best way to attract buyers, it adds a personal touch to the service you are offering. Create price packages. Now Fiverr also has a free course on how to be a successful seller. I will link it in the description box below. Once you have created a profile, just don't sit tight and wait for work to hold in. It will never ever happen. This is the mistake many newcomers make and I don't want you to be making. You will have to actively promote yourself outside of Fiverr. You can do so on a social media accounts like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever you are on. Reach out to local businesses and let them know about your new venture. You can print out business cards with a link on it. It costs very little to print these, so you can go ahead with that. You can also join Facebook groups and network with bloggers and small business owners. All you have to do is go up to the search section of Facebook, type in a keyword like blogging or entrepreneur and press enter. Once you join these Facebook groups though, always add value to a conversation and don't just pitch yourself. People need to trust you know your knowledge before they can hire you for any work. This takes a bit of a time, but it is the most fruitful way of getting work. You will see posts where people are asking for help with logo designs, web designs, Canva, pins, graphics, etc. 
this is the place to go ahead and pitch yourself. Now the second one is flipping items on eBay. Now I know eBay requires you to be at least 18 years old for starting an account. So if you are under 18, you can ask a parent or a guardian to set it up for you and you can manage the rest of the activities. Flipping items on eBay is all about buying valuable items at a lesser price from flea markets or garage sales and sell them for double the cost or more on eBay. So for example, you can buy a vintage teacup set for $50 to $100 and sell them on eBay for $200, $300 or $500 and yes, that is possible. Now, you will have to research a bit on what these hot items are. I did that actually and I have compiled a list in our blog post on best items to flip on eBay. You can check that out in the description box below. To name a few, you can focus on vintage anything, furniture, shoes, record players, paintings, arts, legos, board games, etc. Now flea market flipping definitely requires you to make a little bit of investment to buy the inventory, space to keep them until they are shipped and materials to be used in the shipping. So if you can get one of your parents or both of your parents or a guardian on board with you to set this up, you can make a lot of money online. Considering coronavirus is going around, and going out might be a very difficult task right now, you can start with your own house or your neighborhood. Now, I will also recommend you to pick up a niche for your store. So maybe you can do board games, vintage or sports memorabilia. See what is a hot niche right now and what you are interested in and go with that. My friend Rob and Melissa do it on a regular basis and by that, I mean that flea market flipping is a full-time job. They earn over $133,000 a year and they also teach how to do this. While their paid courses are extremely expensive and but they have everything that you need to know, I understand that you are a teenager and you cannot spend that kind of money. So I have some good news. I have a free training link below that you can grab and know the basics of flea market flipping, okay? Now if you have Netflix, I would love for you to watch Girl Boss and know how you can make a fortune as a teenager on eBay. Do watch it, okay? And let me know in the comment section below how you like it. Similarly, if you are creative, you can start an Etsy store. Now, Etsy is a wonderland for everyone wanting to buy or sell custom-made items. So if you are creative, Etsy is your go-to place. But again, you need to be at least 18 years old to start an Etsy store. So get your parent or a guardian on board and ask them to sign up for you. Now, newcomers can make as much as $44,000 in a year. If you spend time learning the tricks of the trade, you can earn as much as $500,000 in sales from Etsy store. The top selling items on Etsy store are crafts like crochet patterns, knitting patterns, stickers, etc. Custom made items like wooden boxes, handcrafted invites, Jewelry items like athletes, no skin bracelets, wedding items, accessories like hats, party supplies, vintage items like rugs, home living items like candles. You have to pay 20 cents for each of these listings and it's valid for 4 months. Now Etsy gets a lot of traffic each and every day. So you do not have to pitch your products or actively promote them and find a buyer. All you have to do is learn how to do your listings in a way that it ranks higher in the search. For that, learn search optimization for Etsy, which is not very difficult. Remember, you can always find many, many, many free courses on Skillshare. You can also promote your Etsy store on Pinterest. It is a powerful tool to drive tons and tons of traffic back to your store and make sales. Pinterest is an easy platform to learn and I will link you one of the posts on driving sales to Etsy store in the description box below. So do not forget to check that out. Now the next up is blogging. Blogging is a great way to make money online as a teenager. I cannot recommend it enough. It changed my life and it can change your life too. However, blogging requires you to learn certain skills. Now, for example, you need to learn how WordPress works, how to drive traffic from Pinterest, how to do SEO. But if you take one step at a time, you will never get overwhelmed and you can achieve your goals quickly. I recommend focusing on creating awesome content in the beginning coupled with learning how to use Pinterest to drive traffic back to your blog. Now leave the rest of the things for later. You will also have to spend a little in the beginning to start off right away. You have to get a domain and a decent hosting which may cost up to $100. Now I think I need to clarify at this point that blogging is not a get rich quick scheme. 
In fact, I'm pretty sure there is no way blogging can fetch you money quickly. It takes time to write and build content on a website, promote it on Pinterest, get organic traffic from Google, etc. Before you are able to make money off a of blog. So give it a few months before you start expecting moolah. I have been blogging for almost two years now and I make anywhere from $3,000 to $8,000 per month. The first $100 that I made from my blogging was in the third month of blogging. So you can definitely do it. Most of my income is from affiliate marketing and ads. So be sure that you concentrate on those two when it gets to monetization. Just setting your expectations right, you can definitely expect to earn $1,000 in a month without actively spending time on your blog each and every day. All you have to do is to get into the monetization stage. But first and foremost, focus on content and driving back traffic from Pinterest to your blog. You can also check out how to drive traffic to your new blog on my website. A lot of established bloggers have given some great tips for growing your new blog. Another great way to make money online for teams and make money passively is affiliate marketing on Pinterest. I won't go too much into detail for this because I have already created a detailed video which talks about how to do affiliate marketing on Pinterest. You can find the link up top. Open it in a new window so you can watch it after this video. Now affiliate marketing is basically all about promoting other people's products and services and in return you get a commission at no extra cost to your buyer. Now, there are many many affiliate programs that are available in this online world. You can find them on ShareSale, ClickBank, Commission Junction and so many more platforms. You will have to create pins or graphics on Pinterest and link them directly to your affiliate landing page. So when someone clicks on your pin, they go to the sales page and if they buy it from you, you will get a commission. It is as simple as that. You can create graphics for Pinterest on Canva which is a free tool. I will link it in the description box below. You will have to do all of this manually for a few months but once you start to gain traction on Pinterest, get traffic back to your website and you start selling affiliate products and make money, you can invest in a tool called Tailwind. Now Tailwind is the one and only Pinterest authorized tool that allows you to create pins and schedule them out many 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 days for the entire year as well. It becomes pretty hand free. Depending on what you promote, you can easily earn thousand to five thousand dollars in a month. Now go check out this video on affiliate marketing on Pinterest. Now the next one is to make money off your TikTok account. Now well, you are a teenager and I'm pretty sure you have a TikTok account. What better idea than make use of your already existing TikTok account to make some money online? Now there are three ways to make money with your TikTok account. The first one is to create good content and encourage people to spend coins on you. That is also known as virtual gifts. I'm sure you can do this, but this option is only available for people for accounts with 1000 followers or more. The second one is to become an influencer on TikTok. Choose a niche that works well on this platform like fitness, cosmetics, home products, etc. and create entertaining content around it. After a certain amount of threshold, that is after you gain a certain amount of followers, you can reach out to brands for sponsorship. On the flip side though, you can also become a broker which helps influencers meet brands and brand meets influencer. Your job would be to find the right match, finalize the agreement, ensure that there is delivery of the content, etc. The next way is to create TikTok accounts and sell them completely. People have been doing that forever, growing social media accounts and selling them to brands who require them. Now brands get access to an established follower base. They can sell products and make profit almost instantaneously. Brands are always willing to spend money on accounts that can make money for them. Depending on the follower base, you can expect anywhere around $100 to $30,000. But $30,000 means that you need to have followers in millions. Check out this video on how to make money on TikTok for more details. Now, these are just some ways teams like you can make money. There are just so many, so many, so many, so many ways today to make money online and make money from home. All you have to do is be open to ideas, be open to solving problems that people are facing around you or in the world and explore. The opportunities are endless. You can also check out the videos on the screen right now to know more about freelancing and how to make money, live a location independent life, etc. I make videos about making money online each and every week. So subscribe to our channel so you do not miss out anything, any opportunity to make money. I'll see you next week. Until then, ta-da!